Thomas. Good morning, James. How are you today? Um, I'm okay, thank you. Uh, you seem pretty excited. Well, of course I am. Haven't you heard? The Fat Controller has ordered two new engines to come to Sodor. I hear. How did the fat controller manage to get his hands on those? <laughs> I heard he got them off eBay. Percy, how long have you been here? I've been here the whole time, just you two have been hogging the camera. Uh, sorry about that. But anyway, it is kind of strange. I don't even think there's any railways that lead off this island, and there are no boats big enough to transport two engines here. Maybe they'll arrive by magic. That's ridiculous, Percy. Shut up, James. Well, it is. They'll probably wash up in the tide if the fat controller arranged it. James, you're a genius. Took you long enough to figure it out. If they're gonna appear anywhere, then they're most likely to appear at the docks. Let's go down there and wait. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Right, it's settled then. Last one, there's an old pup. Hey, come back here, Thomas. Huh, you two don't have a chance against... Oh my god, they're already gone. Come back! later at the docks. <laughs> James is an old puff. Quiet, Percy, I am not. No, oh, don't worry, James. You're already one of those long before today. Ugh, why I order, but anyway. Still no sign of the two new engines. Well, it'll probably take them a long time to come here if they're coming from Scotland. Scotland? Scotland? Well, yeah, that's where they are coming from. They're Scottish. <laughs> Percy, you didn't tell us that before. Well, I didn't think it was important. Well, if they're Scottish, then we know they'll be red. Where the hell did you get that idea from? Well, all the people in Scotland have red hair. So all the engines must be red as well. James, that's stereotypical and stupid. Besides, that's Ireland. No, no, Ireland's where all the leprechauns come from. Leprechauns, Percy? Yeah, you know, little green men who live at the end of the rainbow. Um, no. But anyway, I'm pretty sure there won't be that long. How much longer do we have to wait? Wait, 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 Quiet, Thomas. You wake up, Percy. <sighs> Maybe we should just go shh. Don't shush. Shh. What are you three doing here? Oh no, don't tell me. You've been waiting for those twin engines all day? Yeah, how do you know? Because me, Gordon, and Henry have been too. Is that a problem? Yes, because Toby, Doc, and Oliver were waiting for them too. And if we were all waiting for them, who was pulling the passenger trains? <laughs> Where's our passenger train, fatty? Yeah. yeah. Uh, look, 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 I really don't know where on earth you, uh, those uh, engines are. You know, uh, it's it's just that they have faces and, and minds of their own. And, you know, they, they don't really listen to what I tell them to. You know, they, they just do whatever they want to. I, I really, really can't be held responsible for this. So, you know, if you just, you know, 
maybe wait around for another hour or so, uh, he might, one might come along, you know, you can, you can yell at them or something like that, you know, and, and, uh, do, what, what, what are you doing? And, no, get away from my donuts. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, Emily. Oh, and Thomas, we best go back to Titmouth now. <sighs> yeah, I suppose you're right, James. But then, a great flash of light streaked across the cloudy night sky. Percy woke with a start. Bust my buffers, he cried. He bumped straight into Thomas. Thomas didn't care. He was too amazed at what had just happened. Then, several more lightning strikes came down. Vaporized bits of track. It made others appear. Wow. Percy was right. They are arriving by magic. Yeah. Sorry about before, Percy. That's all right. But even though it's magic, I mean, that that track still had to have come from somewhere. I mean, it just can't appear out of nowhere. Oh, it's such a lovely night. Uh, what happened to the track? Oh. Oh. Worry about that, Percy. That must be them. Black engines? What are they, emo or something? Thomas, are they gonna slit our coupling rods? No, no, Percy, we'll think of something. Ah, oh, good evening, you three. Goodbye, you too. Well, uh, I suppose we should just uh, stay here for the night, and uh, we'll look for Sir Topham Hat in the morning. All right, then. Donald and Douglas were soon sleeping happily. And the track turned to Wentz's tip. No! 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 Stop it! However, the engines at Tidmouth Sheds were not sleeping. Gordon, they were emo. James, this is just another one of your stupid stereotypical ideas. Gordon, I'm telling you, they were emo. Even as Thomas and Percy. They were emo, weren't they, guys? Yep, sure were. Hmm, <laughs> well, if uh, you said it and uh, those two confirmed it, then uh, that statement must be complete crap, James. Oh, shut up, Gordon. No one cares what you say anyway. Henry does. Where is Henry? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. I mean, you'd think someone would have sent help by now. <laughs> Soon, all the engines across the island were sleeping. But not for long. In the skies above, trouble was brewing. The magical storm that had brought the twins had now created a real storm. The rain soon began to thunder down, and the wind howled too. The engines weren't asleep any longer. Then the lightning came. The storm had now begun. It howled all the way across the island. It blew down trees, picked up objects, and hurt them like projectiles. Donald and Douglas were worried, but Douglas said, We shouldn't be safe in here. But he was wrong. The wind was so strong, Cranky the crane began to wobble and shudder. Move! cried Donald. And they did, just in time, as Cranky cracked. Ah, I hate it when this happened. But there was more trouble. The upper rail line began to shudder and shake. And then...
first light revealed the damage. The fat controller came to Tidman's sheds. Yeah, the, uh, the storm last night has caused damage, chaos, and, um, dare I say it, confusion and delay across the entire island. So, this means that I will have to cut down on cream cake and donuts to pay for costs. But it also means that you engines will, uh, you know, have to work all day long to, uh, clean up all this mess. Okay, um, uh, well, I got to go. So, uh, I, I, I'll be seeing you later. And the fat controller left. The engines didn't waste any time. Soon, they were repairing the damage all across the island. Oh, come off it. Why isn't anybody helping me? Hey, Edward. Edward! Oh, God, he must be getting deaf in his old age or something. Ugh. Oh. And even Donald and Douglas were helping out. They had managed to get hold of the crane and were helping Cranky get back up. The island was soon showing signs of recovery, but lots more work had to be done. James was taking some workmen in a brake van up the spiral track so they could inspect the damage done to the upper rail line from above. Ah, these stupid emo engines. They've caused all this bad luck like a black cat that crosses your path. As James was nearing the top, the track began to shudder. Oh, what's happening? Suddenly, the brake van's coupling snapped, and it rolled all the way down the spiral track right to the bottom. Yeah, I bet that's those stupid emo engines' fault as well. They probably slipped that poor brake van's couplings. Suddenly... Help me, please! Donald and Douglas were the only engines available. Much to James' disappointment, they were the ones who came to rescue him. Soon they were hard at work, Next to no time, James found his wheels back on the rails. Thanks, Donald and Douglas. I realize now that you're not emo at all. In fact, you're really useful engines. That was no problem, laddie. Now come on, let's get this mess cleaned up. By the end of the day, all the sights across Sodor had been mended. Well, most of them anyway. And all the engines puffed Nathan to celebrate.